What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to another episode of Chicago Bears Central. In today's episode, we'll be talking about the Bears roster moves. They made a couple of more signings. We'll also be talking about how we feel about the team's moves so far into free agency. We also have a special topic today where we'll be talking about uh, former Bears who do deserve to have the number retired and, you know, talking about the Bears' whole methodology between uh, retiring numbers and everything like that. And then lastly, we'll go into some news from around the NFL. That's all that and more in today's Chicago Bears Central. You are now tuned in to Chicago Bears Central, your number one place for all Chicago Bears news and content. First up, we got a couple of more roster moves that, that came down today. Well, one today, another one a couple of days ago. So the offensive lineman, Dakota Dozier, Dozier, I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, <laughs> a veteran, 30 years old, also fullback, Kahari Blazing Game. Again, Bears are signing some people with some very interesting names. Yes. Man, um, God, man. <laughs> both the one-year deals. Now, this is the the first time the Bears have signed a true fullback since uh, Michael Burton in 2018. That is quite a while. That's man, crazy. Good. Crazy. Yeah. Hey. Well, what do you guys think of those two signings so far? Uh, it's, you you want to go, nephew? You can go on here and ride it out. Bro. I go, go ahead, man. Um, I think the fullback signing is definitely just a sign that they're gonna use that uh David Montgomery and then Khalil Herbert to you know what I'm saying mm-hmm. they're gonna run. I think they're gonna try to give uh Justin Fields a consistent running game that Matt Nagy failed to give us. I think they 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 trying to beef up that offensive line with the Dakota signing. Um, he was a, a fourth round pick, played a couple of years, then was on the practice squad last year, but was inserted into about six games. So I think that's just a uh, you know, just trying to fill a depth uh chart spot, but with the potential of him, you know, um, starting if one of the other guys like Tevin Jenkins or Borum don't pan out. So one thing about the Kahari sign and the fullback, I want to point out is he did catch. Uh, 10 passes last year for 97 yards. So maybe it's kind of a safety Dang. valve there for, for Justin Fields. There's nothing huge or anything, but maybe just somebody there who Fields can dump it off to if things go left. But go, go ahead, uh, C-Dub. Uh, I want to say this is more the same from polls. Uh, this guy was on the practice squad. I'm talking about what's this <laughs> guy's name? Uh, Dozier. Dozier. Yeah. He was on the practice squad. How good could he be? <laughs> you know, how good could he be? Maybe Paul see something that, you know, we don't see. Yeah. Once again, that go that James Webb telescope this guy got. So let's go to uh, Blasenburg. He looked like, a, you know, he yeah. like he catch back. He a, he a good receiving um, back. Yeah. Uh, I checked him out. Uh, as far as uh, helping in a running game, uh, I think he a little light in the ass to be, you know what I'm saying? So it looked like he going to be in there for pass catching. You know, anybody can go and throw a block. I don't know how, you know, how good he'll be. But I'm going to just go ahead and say it's more of the same from Ryan Pose. I don't get it. You're going to pick a practice squad old line in the most uh, most uh, critical spot that we need in the fullback. Um, like you said, 2018, you know, we have a fullback. I thought those was a stink, but I guess he bringing them back. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> yeah. So one thing with Dozier, Dozier, however you say his name, he's appeared in 76 games and 27 starts over seven years in the NFL. Like you said, practice squad. This is another depth <laughs> signing. Now, I mean, you, you said it on the last episode that we were all together on. What do you call it? You call it shopping at the thrift store? Or was that Bobby that said it? Yeah, I did. Bobby. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Bobby. And it really does feel a lot like that. Like, But the thing is, is that I'm hoping at least, especially with like Kari, he's only 25 years old. Maybe, maybe he sees some potential. I, at the end of the day, I think we won't really know what this team is going to look like until they take the floor. But it, I'm telling you, like, if you're looking for a big name, the casuals are going to hate us. Casual football Ooh. fans are going yeah. to hate us because they ain't, ain't yes. no flash names at all. <laughs> <laughs> so, man, this is this is crazy, man. This is crazy, man. We got to hey, see what I, he up to, man. I'd like to point out that they did uh, bring in, I believe, Ryan Bates from the Buffalo Bills. He's uh, one of those top restricted free agents out there. Mm-hmm. Uh, we don't I haven't heard anyone sign or he, if he re-signed with the Buffalo Bills. So I just like to keep my eyes out on that one. M- maybe okay. Ryan Pose want to go to Target for that shop. You know what I'm saying? There you go to okay. Target. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. That's for now some other Bears news that I almost forgot to put on here, but it just came to my mind. The Bears have officially hired uh, the architect to design the Arlington Heights Stadium. Are you Ooh. guys like? 
So, Ooh. and, and I, it, Chicago is still said that they're going to try to put together a package to try to keep the Bears in the city of Chicago. Even I read something as crazy as like they they're going to offer putting a roof on top of Soldier Stadium. I don't I don't give a damn about Soldier Field having a damn roof on it. The, the stadium is literally the oldest and smallest stadium in the yeah. NFL. Mm, in, yes. like, come on, man. I don't. I, why why are they being? But listen, I don't think they're going to change the, you know, you see some people, they're going to change the name to the Arlington Heights. They're not going to. Oh, happen. come on now. No. That's, not gonna <laughs> that's, that's ridiculous. That's not going to happen. That's Stop not going to But even with that, though, it's something about where Soldier Field is when you go to the city of Chicago, right? Yes. The fact that you can go from the shed to, to see the stadium walking is, is beautiful, right? It's beautiful, right. man. And so I understand that it, it would suck to have to go to like a temporary stadium or something like that, but really, why why haven't they just took down? I, I understand there's so much history there. Knock the whole motherfucker down and rebuild something bigger in the same spot. There you go. There's a Come lot on, of space man. over there. Oh, like, it's too much space, dude. Like driving out to Arlington Heights to see a Bears game that does not crazy. have the same field, man. No, no. That does not have the same feel at all. Listen man, to me. They don't understand to, the, to those big wigs in charge, whoever doing this. <laughs> Cut this crap out. Get y'all stuff together. We don't want to go all the way to Arlington Heights. I gotta pass Arlington Heights doing deliveries for my job, man. That's, that's you know, it, it ain't that bad, you know, during the work day. You know what I'm saying? You get there, but how about a hundred thousand people trying to get to Arlington Heights? Trying to get on a in there. Sunday on a Sunday, bro. <laughs> like much Ugly. less a Monday. God forbid it's a Monday night game. Man, it's too iconic man. battle water over there. Stop man. trying to change stuff. If anything, like you said, go on and make a temporary whatever we do and give us a dome or something. Even though man. I don't want a dome, I want the natural, That's, you know, listen, weather. And domes Just, are becoming so yeah. common that, like, you lose. A, there, there used to be something about going to a football game. And when it starts raining, you just got to deal with the shit. The players deal with the shit. You got to deal with the shit. Amen. So, I blame the Centennials. Yeah, hey. <laughs> <laughs> they, they they not built like we were, bro. They don't be out in the rain, man. <laughs> they be sticking shit being out in the rain, man. man what? Come on, <laughs> come on, man. But yeah, man. Really? So I, I, you know, it's the same uh, group that designed uh, the Las Vegas Ra- uh, the Las Vegas Raiders new stadium. Oh. So I mean, it's a they, they got some dope skill. That's some bring day, bring their skill to the city of Chicago. Be yes. in the city. Come on, man. Yes. Oh, and that's keep it right down there. there, man. Yeah, because that's it's it's more than just football. Because you think about the economic impact for that city if they exactly. upgrade and enlarge that stadium. I mean, if you want to put a roof on it, okay, cool. But just have like something cool to where that thing open up or something. I don't know. Exactly. But don't do like the Dallas Cowboys where they got the sun. You can't even block out the damn sun. No, nah, exactly. don't do that. <laughs> Let's be smart Man. about this. And, and think about how many iconic games, and not just with oh. Bears, but overall in the NFL, took took place in snow, rain, whatever. We're going to... Our kids are not going to even exp- – they ain't ever going to see what, what it's like to see a, a, a football team in the playoffs have to play in the goddamn snow. Oh, man, one quick note. Y'all remember that uh, fall game between the Bears and the Eagles at Soldier Field? Man, oh, that's absolutely. an iconic game, dude. Oh, well, well, you couldn't even see the players on the TV. Yeah. <laughs> it was so fun to watch, though. You couldn't I see got, the players. It was so fun. I got one a little more recent. What about the Chicago Bears versus New Orleans Saints when Thomas Jones went off? Yeah. Oh yeah, in the snow. Come on, man. The snow? Yeah. Nah, it was just cold as hell. <laughs> <laughs> the breeze, the breeze from Lake Michigan was crazy. Come on, man. Yes. Yeah. I think that. Listen, I that's I I'm not somebody who's always against change, but there are some things that just don't yeah. need to change. Now, now, Soldier Field needs to change. Like, don't get me wrong, right? There's it's the oldest stadium in the NFL, but with yeah. that, it, with that being said, like, just build something new. We don't need to go Arlington High. I, I mean. Let me not say I won't go to a Bears game because I'm going to go to the goddamn <laughs> yeah. game. Come on, man. Arlington you, Heights. Ain't nothing yeah, else out there. <laughs> hey, you might as well knock down that, that Wrigley Field over there that got up north if you're going to knock down Soldier Field. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It's like, the holds the same value to me. <laughs> That's right. crazy to me, man. That's crazy. You know well, I'm you know, capping. <laughs> but, you know, it, talking about the stadium is a good way to segue into the next topic. So this is something I kicked you guys, and I figured we could have fun talking about it is – Chicago Bears players that deserve to have their number retired. Now, when we were texting, I said that Walter Payton was the last player to have his number retired. He's the most recent, but actually, Dicka 
was the last player to have his number retired in 2013. The fact that it took that long to retire Dickens' number is wow. bananas to me that he didn't have his number retired in 2013. Now, with that being said, the, the Bears did announce that he would be the last player to have his number retired. They're not going to retire any numbers anymore. And I, I'm not going to follow this conversation up with something out that, I, that idea I have about that. But I want to present this question to you guys. What three Bears do you think deserve to have their number retired? Oh, you want me to take, go first? Yeah, go take ahead, that bro. away. Don't steal first my of all, Matt, that's why I got to go first. I can't make yeah. you guys don't steal my stuff. <laughs> but go first ahead. thing first, Virginia and the McCaskies, y'all tripping. The, these mm-hmm. best players need to be recognized, and there's a lot of them, but I'm going off for my three. First and foremost, Mike Singletary. Oh. Number show, 11 years for the Chicago Bears, 10 Pro Bowls. Seven-time All-Pro, two-time Defensive Player of the Year, and he brought the only recent championship to the city. Then I'm going the greatest return man of all time, Devin Hester. I'm so glad you said that, man. The greatest return. Come on, you have to reward something that was clearly someone that was clearly the greatest at something. And in in special teams, he was that man. He got coaches fired. He got players yelled at. He got coaches yelled at. He made people look stupid. Prime example, two, he got two return backs against the Rams when they was in St. Louis, and then he made the New York that, Giants look like fools when they missed that field goal, and they thought he was going <laughs> to take that knee, but he said, uh-uh, we going to take off. Go. And then, and go. then I don't know if this is going to surprise y'all, but I got to go Mr. Peanut Punch, mother f- Charles Tillman. I have to. Okay. I can't remember. Look, I don't have a long life. I've only been here 27 years, damn it. But there's not a best cornerback that I have seen that has been better than Peanut Tillman. Look, just look at this real quick. In one season, the man had 10 forced fumbles as a cornerback. Damn. As a cornerback. And right now, bro, he is seventh all time in forced fumbles. The six the players ahead of him, Play defensive end. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's, that's saying three, something. Man. That's my oh, three. you, you Emma Effa. You took two of my things, so I'm gonna just go off the fly and add two more. <laughs> hey, first, I'm gonna go, but listen, I'm gonna go all linebackers on you now. All linebackers, and we're gonna start with Erlacher. How Erlacher and I are gonna be up there and, and get his number retired? One of mine, yeah. You know? <laughs> How is that possible? How can you do that? Yeah. I mean, he speaks for himself. You know what I'm saying? Then we'll go another linebacker, Lance Briggs. Mm-hmm. He was the he was he was the tag team partner. So two of mine. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Lance Briggs is the man. I like Lance Briggs more than Erlacher, to tell you the truth. He had he more made. personality than Erlacher. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So. And I think he was a better tackler than Erlacher. And that's, Erlacher that's was man. a great tackler. Uh, okay. And this is a surprise for y'all. The third one, Don't say Wilbur it. Marshall, should be have his number retired. Did you know this is this is what threw me over the board? On third down, they took Mike Singletary out the game and let Wilbur Marshall run middle linebacker. That told you how great he is, because Mike Singletary, come on now. He could be the GOAT linebacker now, (laughs) you know. But this guy came in for Mike Singletary on third down, and he defended the pass and rushed the passer and uh, protected against the run. So my three will be linebackers. He took my other two, y'all. Sorry. (laughs) <laughs> Listen, and that's the thing with, with the Bears is that most of the people who deserve the numbers retired are linebackers because we we like yes. the linebacker is a staple Man, in in yeah. the Chicago Bears. Like for Bears to be a good a good a great team, you have to have an amazing linebacker. Period. That's just one yeah, of those things. simple yeah. facts. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna tackle my two together just because you already talked about them. First of all, Brian Erlacher and Lance Briggs need to go into the Hall of Fame together. They need yes. to walk in together. They need to get their numbers retired. Everything. Those two were the epitome of yes. how that Chicago Bears team played defense. 
Man. Period. Without Period. those two, it does not happen. When you yes. when you look back at that era of the Chicago Bears, those are the first. And it's, and it's so crazy that in an era where it's always the quarterback, right? It's not mm-hmm. that with the Chicago Bears. You think about <laughs> no. what linebacker is leading that defense. And Brian Erlacher did that for years. And then yes. also Lance Briggs. And another thing that's important to me when talking about retiring numbers is the fact that they never played for another team. Yes, absolutely. That's important to me. Right. I know yes. that's not a, for some people it does, but they never played for another team. So and because of that, when you retire that number, it means more. And so, yeah, those two hand in hand, period. Um, The next one that I that I have and I'm just because between you two, you guys stole all of mine. Because <laughs> with somebody I, I threw I threw an extra one on here just in case because I figured that would happen. Uh, Steve McMichael. OK. I'm like messing with Steve. Animal? Big, I'm messing with Big McMichael, man. The, okay. the only thing, the only reason that I almost did not put him on here is because he played for those cheesehead bastards. <laughs> yes, over he did. Like, yes, he did. That, yeah. Hey, I got Mick somebody Michael you could throw. Man, I got somebody you could throw in there real quick just because he want to okay. punch Aaron Rodgers in the face. Ola Cruz. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Ola Cruz, definitely. <laughs> he just, definitely. I just want to put him in because he's long, long time bad, but he uh, plus, plus, plus because he want to punch Aaron Rodgers in the Off oh, us play as well. <laughs> that dude that dude was uh, in the Pro Bowl for a lot of years consecutively. Yeah, man. Ola Cruz was that man. Definitely. Yeah. And something, somebody that I also want to point out here, just from having a conversation with my son, right? And this is just – this is just because we're, we're two different eras, right? And my son is somebody who I, he, I know he pays heavy attention to the NFL now, but I think back when this player played, it was probably more of because of Madden, if we're just being honest. But I was having this conversation with my son, and he was like, Well, dad, why didn't you pick Julius Peppers? I was like, First of all, oh, first of all, Peppers only played for us for four seasons. So that yeah. right there. Um, mm-hmm. And I think when people think of Peppers, even though he, he played solid for us, they think of him as a Carolina player. Yeah, exactly. And so, you know, talking to my son and having that conversation with my 16-year-old son, it, w- it was just interesting to me that that was the first player that he went to. And I asked him and I had this conversation with him. He was just like, you know, when I think about the Chicago Bears defense, I think about Julius Peppers. And I'm like, that that is really interesting for me. That's but it's interesting. That is really, really interesting for me. It's definitely with the eras because when I think of Chicago Bulls, I think Erlacher, Lance Briggs, Tommy Harris, yeah. Alex Brown, like exactly. Mike Brown. Alex Brown. Come on, like players like that, at least as far as because I go back, you know what I'm saying? Let me ask a question. Is uh, guys like Willie Colt, they ain't got their number retired? Mark Carrier, Mm. uh, Jim McMahon, they number not retired? Oh, is I it? I don't know what's wrong with uh, the that's crazy. Keep in mind that the, the, the Chicago Bears are the franchise with the most retired numbers. Hmm. And oh. Think about how many Chicago Bears legends don't have their number retired. Dang. Oh, that is crazy. That's crazy. Sad, crazy. Too. That's sad, I guess son. they say we're going to run out of numbers in this month. <laughs> <laughs> Especially when you have, when so many of your great players are play, that linebacker position, they would have they would have ran out of linebackers. Simple, yeah. dude. Yeah, From numbers, buckets right. all the yeah. way through, dude. Yeah. Come on. 51, so, um, 50, 54, 55. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They wouldn't yeah. have had nothing. So one thing that I wanted to po- point out this and, and bringing up this topic, the fact that the Bears said that they're no longer retiring numbers. A lot of teams in the NFL don't retire numbers. They have what's called the the Wall of Fame. Do right. you oh. think that? Do you think we need to move that the Bears should move to that so that they can acknowledge and, and more players that played great for this franchise? Absolutely, that's got to be the answer. If you're not going to be uh, retiring numbers, you got to do yeah. something to co- commemorate their. Uh, their um what they did for your team or whatever so i think that's a great idea do that let's fill the wall up because the wall gonna be filled because it's a like we said it's a lot of great chicago bear players i say mm-hmm. establish that thing because that's the reason why i picked mike singletary first because man there are several reports of him coming out saying that the team has distanced themselves from him and i'm like that's ridiculous he brought y'all only championship in recent memory like and that was before i was even born and some people that I know wasn't even, you know what I'm saying, old enough to remember. So come on, man. When you think about that team, the only two people that you really – well, I mean, it's not only two, but the ones that stand out are Peyton and, and Michael Singletary. And Peyton got his number retired. Oh, you got – I mean, 
they'll oh, be I mean, done. Well, yeah, that, <laughs> listen, if Walter Payton's number one retired, <laughs> listen, I'd have, to, I'd, have to, I'd have to go holler at the owners like, hey, man, listen. For real. <laughs> no, he didn't. He the uh, second greatest player of all time behind Tom Brady. I'm telling you right now. Don't listen, ever forget about speak sweetness. On, speak on it. And, and so look, before we move off this and get into some general NFL news, so there is some talk that the Bears may unretire numbers. What do you, how do you feel about that? I think that's blast. What is that? No, now, you can't do that. The only thing is that if they do that, they have to have that wall of fame and they need they, to throw a big ass ceremony. Like, it can't, it, like, they got to act like the motherfucking team won the Super Bowl. Yeah. Because I'm telling you right now, if you're trying to get to sell, especially like my dad in them generation on unretiring, Walter Payton's number. Oh Listen, you, you may have some people fight. They may there may be some fights that break. Man, it's going to be some fights. You know how this city loves Walter Payton, dude. Man, I'm Listen. against it. Come on, that's I'm awesome. against it. Whoever you came put, up with that, scrub, think again. You put a scrub in number thirty four. Oh Come no! On. See, that's the thing. Ultimate even, disrespect. <laughs> even if they were to say we're going to unretire all numbers, you can never let somebody wear number thirty four. Oh, that is that's, that's you can saying. never they trip. That's like never. putting a bull with 23. Don't you ever never. do that. <laughs> don't, you ever, don't you ever. You better, you better, you better make them be 35 and a half. Hey, like you better never, you better hey. not, not once hey, ever. I'm telling you, tell you. I'm telling you another one, number 95. Even though they've been using it. Yeah. Richard Dent. Richard yeah. Dent now. Mm -hmm. Stop that now. <laughs> he was a terror. That is true. That is true. That's, man, listen. They, 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 listen. <laughs> and and, and to, 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 to the to the point also that Bobby made. Let, but I don't, before we get off this topic, I want to say it. Whatever way, Devin Hester not only needs to be in the Hall of Fame, he needs Come some on, fucking acknowledgement, man, for, for the real. way that he changed. It's very hard to change the game of football in this day and age. That man changed the game of football and how special teams operated. Period. Oh, definitely. He was the man. Steph Curry of the NFL. Uh, if you kick it to him. There's a, I'm gonna say, seventy five percent chance he's gonna he's gonna take he that all back. the way, dude. Yeah. <laughs> like, come on, dude. He made coaches shake in their boots. A punt returner. They got offenses and defenses to plan for. They gotta spend significant amount of time on a punt returner. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, then, and then and then another thing that people while while was never a huge part of his game but then the fact that when they did start trying to use him more as a wide receiver come come on man he was happy he was good yeah i think he was good, good as a slot yeah was absolutely solid. yeah, yeah I, come on, don't man. get him loose and ain't no one-on-ones no one-on-one -on -one nah. coverage you're gonna have man. to put the safety over the top that's definitely to y'all need to put some respect on that man's name and he needs to have the second number 23 retired in the city of chicago oh that's Let's that's go. what we need that's what Let's we need go. definitely Period. all right Let's move into the last. We got some news from around the NFL to catch up on before we get out of here today. The Tariq Hill trade went down. Uh, what the what the fuck were they thinking, bro? What the what the fuck? Man. What the Whoa. fuck? Whoa. Dude. Are you crazy? Okay, now. Now, they saying Tyreek asks, can he go and look for a trade? That's what I'm hearing from mm -hmm. all the sources. But I don't give a damn what he want to do. How could you compensate for what he brings to your team? You can let me tell you something. If you had a choice between Kelsey and Tyreek Hill, I'm mm -hmm. sending Kelsey off all the way. You can find another Kelsey. You cannot find another Tyreek Hill. <laughs> Did you see that play in the playoffs? Oh, Can't no other receiver do that. They was running in slow motion, dude. Was his feet was like moving a hundred miles per hour, dude. This is the fastest man ever. Wait, Dion is fast too. I ain't gonna disrespect uh, yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. But I think Tyreek got him. But Dion up though. But come on, KC, y'all go for man. That's gonna hurt y'all. I think that's gonna hurt these guys, dude. So you like to point out KC? I like to point out the damn Dolphins. What are y'all doing? A first, a second, and a fourth this year, and then a fourth and a sixth next year. Well, it makes sense, bro. Come on. So, if you had to choose between Devonte Adams and then Tyreek Hill, some people gonna say Adams. Some okay. Some people gonna say Hill. It's not, you know you can't definitively say that one person better than the other. But come I on, can't. man. The Raiders only gave I up. I can't. 
They only gave up one and two. Plus, Miami, you have a quarterback that ain't got no O line. <laughs> so how you gonna <laughs> even throw the ball downfield to this man? Everything gonna be short. And he, the quarterback not even proven. Hey, shout out to Casey. The, KC, they got a heist out of this one. What? Oh, nephew. <laughs> was, was it bad? Hey, that's on them. But, bro, they about to go draft a couple more other young players. They probably finna get some really good young wide receivers. They finna get some young talent. They still got Kelsey. They just got sick tax. If I was Mahomes, I'd be like, hey, man, listen. 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 Y'all better have a hell of a replacement. For real. have a hell of a replacement. Or it's going to be some problems. That's Come Come on, nephew Tyreek. I'm saying. I'm picking Tyreek over any wide receiver in this league right now. But Anyone. This is, what hap- this is what happens when your quarterback put the damn franchise in the stranglehold and take $50 million, $50 million a year or almost mm. or close to it. Look at Aaron Rodgers. They couldn't, they could have offered Adams that money, but what else would they would have had? Nothing. So, Casey, y'all got stuck with TikTok Smith Schuster. There you go. Juju, Juju, Juju. <laughs> hey, Juju, better I get on your mark. Ju- I didn't think about the Juju of it all, but yeah, that's crazy, man. So you that's mean wild. to tell me they got Juju Smith Schuster as a replacement for Tyreek freaking here? All about Juju. I wasn't even thinking about yeah. it. That's wow. one year deal. But Good see, luck with that. What? Why not have both of them for at least I don't once? Know. Like, say, say, fuck it. I don't give a damn if you want to be traded. We're gonna win the Super Bowl. Do you see what the AFC? That's what do you I'm see saying. what the AFC has done this year? Bro. You think we finna, Come on, man. You would have just had to suck it up. You like, don't you even gotta like, go that broad. You can go right in a division. It's ugly. Chargers, yeah. Chargers. <laughs> they better look out for them Chargers, baby. That is it. Buffalo that is about to be uh, hell. Lee, <laughs> AFC hell. is gonna be. That is gonna be great. Hey, to what, like, and don't forget my buddy in Baltimore, uh, Lamar Jackson. They forgot about okay. him last year. He coming back with a vengeance this year. Yeah. I'm telling you. Yeah, I want like my thing is like because he has no neck. I wonder if that's why he's so <laughs> mean. Like, like <laughs> <laughs> Lamar, man, he the most athletic. No. Is he the most athletic quarterback? Y'all think Lamar the most athletic quarterback with that little guy or uh, Arizona? Is he more yeah, athletic he, than that guy? Yeah, I think he's better than Kyler Murray, man. That's more athletic? Me. I think so. Yeah, I give him. Most athletic. athletic. I think so, yeah. Yeah. All right, we got one more thing to talk about. Baker Mayfield and the drama Ooh. going on. First of all, I want to say this. You guys know I live in Ohio. Um, I don't live in Cleveland, thank God. That's the pit of hell. But, <laughs> I... but this is my thing. <laughs> The the, the 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 state of Ohio is so conservative, right? But then you trade for Deshaun Watson, who has 23 open sexual assault charges on him right now. <laughs> and, and, and the state is rejoicing. Like, it's just, it's so confusing. Now, that's a side note. But let's for go ahead real, and get bro. into this Baker Mayfield drama. Um, Man, man, he's he's telling everything, right? Yeah. yeah. Hey, hey, look, uh, Baker hurt, man. And, and you know what he doing? He packing all his stuff and, and, and he going straight to the news with it. He going straight to the talk shows because <laughs> yep. he was cleaning up. You see the commercial? He was cleaning up the, the stadium. You know, it, it was his house. <laughs> and y'all went behind this man back and cheated on him. He gonna something. start telling. He gonna start telling on players who was cheating on their wives. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> uh, so this boy about to pull a D'Angelo Russell. Man, this boy, he finna snitch on everybody, man. Look out, though. Hey, hey, Baker, I feel oh, I feel bad for you, dude, because you went in there to save a franchise that I didn't think was savable. You was doing and the action. That they're not. And it's proven that they're not because they steady doing bonehead things like this, man. I like Baker. He okay, man. But like y'all Baker. did it. Y'all did it wrong, man. Y'all y'all didn't keep it a secret enough. Somebody told, man, y'all let it off on purpose. You had to. My man, thing is like, like they, they honestly, they should have had something in place to where they announced Baker's trade right after the watching trade. Just yes. get it all out the way. Yes, why would y'all leak that somebody who don't like Baker in the front office? The one of y'all can't stand him. Man, that's, go ahead. Oh, you can't treat a guy like that. Bro, man. He did win a playoff game. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead, Bobby. 
First of all, your Cleveland Brown fans are some ungrateful bastards because before he came, y'all was going one for 15 and 0 for 16. Yes. So be grateful. Like, I get it that Deshaun Watson is better, but mm-hmm. be careful what you ask for. And then yes. to go out there and put that man and say that he immature and then question, like, I hate, that's why I don't, the NFL, they bother me. I like watching football, but the NFL bothers me because when players speak out, they made as a bad guy. But when mm. teams uh, speak out, it's, then no one bats an eye. It's, this is your job. This is your owner. You have a duty to do. You signed up for this. No, it should be a two-way street because, like Hay said, y'all should have had this man a trade right out the door. And now, y'all tell me y'all want a first-round pick? Man, I know y'all got to get rid of him. <laughs> I'm not giving y'all nothing. I'm going to give exactly. y'all a bag of chips and the 50-cent juice from the corner store. Y'all trip. And people are saying that there's not much interest in Baker, and I really do wonder how much of that. Like, and don't get me wrong, I'm 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 not surprised to to a degree, but I wonder how much of it is like, hey, let's wait this out till they have to cut his ass, and then we're just gonna go sign him. That's nice. it, absolutely. They uh Baker has no leverage. The 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 Browns have no nobody has leverage, but the other teams looking in, and it is teams looking in. He will get yeah. signed. Come on now, well, that's what I'm he saying. He's gonna he, get signed, but I wonder, he, like, if if if. Honestly, like smart front office is like, let, let's watch and wait till this shit implodes. Oh. And they're going to have to eventually, because you can't go into training camp with Baker still on the fucking roster. No way. No. You hey, can't do hey, that. Oh, 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 that's a for sure he getting cut. Yeah. Ain't nobody yeah. finna just stick their neck out. He getting cut. Some raw they, numbers yeah. for Baker. In his three years that he's been eligible to play, because he wasn't eligible, uh, like, like, the motherfucker's been balling, man. He's been like, balling, dude. Like, like he, he has a sixty-one percent uh, 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 pass percentage completion in four seasons. He uh, sixty uh, uh, fourteen thousand one hundred and twenty-five yards. Come on, an uh, average yardage of, of seven per pass. That's listen. That's I'm not really saying good. he's he's a top five quarterback in the league, but for no. some of these teams that need a quarterback, he's only twenty-six years old too. Like you can't <sighs> tell me he won't make Atlanta a better team now than Matt Ryan. Facts, like let's oh, be yeah, he Come definitely. On. I think that's one of the spots that he will ultimately end up in is probably mm-hmm. New Orleans, Atlanta. Uh, it's it's tough for you, Baker. You know, yeah. I would feel sorry for you, but I don't. Cause you, you know, he played for Cleveland, <laughs> but it's it's bad what's happening to you, man. Any anything associated with Cleveland Cavs, See, Browns, the, the, I can't. the two thing, the two like between Baker and then what they did to uh, damn Halliburton over in in Sac- When you go to a city that you want to change the culture to, let you just gotta let them suck, man. Yeah, that- won, he wanted to change the culture and it, with the Kings, they traded his ass. Baker wanted to be in fucking Cleveland. Yes. Was, th- there are people who have lived their whole lives in Cleveland and don't fucking <laughs> want to be in Cleveland. The fact that he wanted to be there, man, come on, man. Seriously, though. Hey, man, pray for, pray for Baker, man. That's how he, he land in a good spot, man. That's all I got to say for you, brother. Man, it's listen, tough out there. <laughs> and depending on what team he lands on, Baker could have. Just listen, stay out of my division. Right. Yeah, stay just stay away from over here. Yeah, no, Detroit don't need you. We uh, uh, stay no, with the stay, other guy. Yeah, Detroit, yeah, stay, stay away from Baker. But, yeah, don't, don't. <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I would mind seeing. Like, I really do think like the Haw- the uh, Hawks. Goddamn, I'm in basketball mindset. <laughs> the Falcons yeah, you know? are like a great. Would really they on paper they seem to be a great place for him to be. I think so. I agree. Yeah, I think so. That I was be thinking. A great place. I was thinking New York Giants, but then someone threw out. They was like, "He can't handle Cleveland media. How you gonna handle New York?" I'm like, right, "Oh that's yeah, fair. they eat his ass. Oh, they are eat him. So send him to Atlanta. Yeah, Atlanta and media kind of tough too. I, I, you know. But the thing is, but is I think that one thing up. about Atlanta is that as great as they media are, as long as you play, listen, halfway decent for them. Yeah. They they okay. gonna give you some reprieve, some okay. right, some yeah, especially yeah. now that they don't have much expectations at all. <laughs> <laughs> so, for real. We'll see what happens with that. But uh, all right, fellas, anything left before we end the show today? Uh, no. It's we just still waiting on this pose, guy. I'm still. It's an oh, enigma. Yeah. It's like the Riddler. Uh, he keep throwing things out. I don't know if he keeping all the money and he going on cruises or something. He ain't spending no money. <laughs> you ever go to your granddaddy and you, man, daddy, granddaddy, can I get a dollar? It go a quarter, boy. You ain't got no <laughs> job. Work for your money. Take that quarter. You know, the real. So it's tough. He ain't giving up his money. I'm eager to see what he going to finish this uh, roster with. Yep. As long as the motherfucker don't end up like Gar Foreman, bro. Like, he's oh. not listening. 
Hey, real I'm, quick, Ryan Pace would have made that trade for Tyreek Hill. <laughs> oh, for sure. <laughs> hey, definitely would. <laughs> Stupid ass. <laughs> yeah, for sure. He would have made that and been looking at y'all like, yep, I did it. What now? I did what? Now what? <laughs> <laughs> I think he was a secret and I did, agent. And I did. <laughs> <laughs> for real, bro. All right, fellas, go ahead and give your social media plug everything. Let's get up out of here. All right, go ahead and rock with the Cognac Boys at Chicago Bull Show with the Cognac Boys and on all other platforms, Cognac Boys. And we even on Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, Spotify now. We rock it. So like go ahead hear. and tune in and go ahead and holler at my boy Hayes on Twitter at CEO Hayes. He gang too. So let's go. Uh, you heard, That's nephew. It. Y'all That's better it. get in tune. Chicago Bear Central. Y'all know y'all got to get in tune to that. Stop it. For real. <laughs> listen, listen, I'm not, listen, I don't, I ain't even trying to put nobody else down. This is this is this is to talk about us not putting anybody else down. But ain't ain't no other Chicago Bear show or podcast got as much flavor as us already. I'm sorry, no That's cap. True. Ain't no capping, my man Hayes rap. He <laughs> only <laughs> speaking facts. <laughs> if they feel a way about it, they can see me about it. I don't yeah. give a damn. I stand on everything we I say when it comes to that. Hey. Uh, you can follow us all uh, at Shy Bear Central on Twitter. I need to create an Instagram and everything for it. Listen, it's been busy. Shit, I'm not even going to lie to y'all. Uh, we Understood. still got like five months before preseason, so we got plenty of time. Don't even worry. Sure about it. We're going we to be in full gear by the time the season starts, so don't even worry about it. But uh, thank you guys for supporting, man. Make sure you guys go and support the Kayak Boys over on their channel as well because they the most entertaining motherfuckers on YouTube. I don't give a damn what y'all got to uh, But we about to right there. That's my guy right there. You heard him right there. That's my guy right there. That's my guy. This has been a presentation of the Break Break Media. Media.